A few days ago, Ubuntu 15.04 Vivid Vervet was released, and yesterday I demonstrated how to load it in the um, VirtualBox Beta uh, 5.0 Beta 1. Now, in that version, it could I could only load the um, 32-bit. Today I'm going to load it onto my Windows. I already went, I googled the uh, 1504 download. I came to this page. I downloaded the um, desktop image, um, the 64-bit, and I'm going to now load it into Windows. So I will do new. Next, and I on the Windows machine I typically give it two gigs of RAM. It depends on how much resources you have, and I will give it sixty-four gigs. Remember, this is dynamically allocated so you only use as much as you need at any time I go into settings and I keep everything the same I give it max amount of memory that the display can do I have actually used on my main system that I use for creating Android images I give myself two monitors, but here I just want a minimalistic, so one is okay. And this is the most important thing. I put in my, and I know where I have it, it is in M. This. And that's all that I need to do at this moment. I don't want to add any shared folders later on. And here we go, start. That's all you need to do. Yesterday, this whole process took a long, long, long time. Um, now, I don't know whether that was because I was using 32 bits, and remember, it was already inside a virtual machine. So it ended up being very slow. Install Ubuntu. We will download the updates. Continue. Yes, please. Just check to make sure it's got everything right. And make appropriate changes. I have so many different virtual boxes that I really do my best to differentiate between them. 64. Okay. And since this is a virtual machine, I am going to give it a weak password simply because my Windows machine, which is physically in my house, protects me. This is going to take quite a little while even though I'm using um, 64 bits and I'm doing it on Windows directly. So I'm going to pause and come back when we're... This is much better. It happened very, very quickly and now I have to restart.
I had to turn the machine off by hand and then restart it. For some reason it just got stuck there when I had done a restart, but now it's starting very rapidly. I had given it a slightly different password than the one I normally use. I will have to add the guest editions next in order to actually be able to get this the correct size. I'll just ch first check and um, I think it may be in system settings, the monitor displays. That's it. At this moment, I only have two sizes for the displays. So I'm going to insert guest editions. Now, it needs administrative permission, so I'm giving it the administrative permission. And now I need to reboot the computer, although just I'm pretty sure last time I needed to reboot the computer. Let's see if this has changed. No, good. now or not. Reboot does not. Okay, good. And now it is the right size and just out of my own curiosity I want to see which version of the kernel is this using 3.19 is the version of the kernel that it's using and so here we have um, Ubuntu 15.04 64-bit running inside Oracle VirtualBox and um, I will later make another video giving my impression of it. At this moment I just wanted to do a quick video for the install. Thank you very much.